Today we're going to look at uh, using moving averages as trailing stops to get in and out of the market, whether it's to buy to get in or sell to get in, buy to get out, sell to get out, or as a stop loss. We're going to use these moving averages for our trail stops for, the, for these orders. We're going to have Think or Swim do it for us automatically. This is a great method for uh, swing trading. If you work during the day and you want to set it and forget it, you could do it like this. Now, this example I'm using is just for uh, uh, educational purposes. Please do not do this blindly. Trade according to your own strategy. But for this screen capture I got here, I picked a market that was ranging and then turned into a trend to give you uh, some scenarios how you may want to use this. And then we'll cover uh, how to actually use these to get in and out of the market, use these uh, moving averages. But let's say it's been ranging. You're looking for a breakout for it to turn into a trend, and you're looking for confirmation. This blue lines, A exponential moving average. Tan lines, 20 exponential moving average. So you're looking for some separation, which we have. And you're looking for the opening bar to be above the eight exponential moving average, which we have here. So we're going to have, uh, it, we have think or swim, execute the order and get us in. Now we want to ride this order all the way up until the ask price uh, is at or below the 20 exponential moving average. So we captured this whole move here. If you go look, look back in this range of market, we had that signal one other time. We had a, some separation between the 20 and the 8 uh, moving averages here. We had it open above the 8. So there's our signal to get in. So think or swim would have got us in. And we placed a stop loss here on the 20 where when the ask price touches or crosses below the 20 moving average, uh, it gets us out. Now, as you can see, that particular trade was a loss. This was a win. So, the scenarios are you can use it to get into the market and get out of the market. Uh, it's a really great way to do a trailing stop uh, with a moving average rather than the normal trailing stops, which is, you know, so many points or dollars or whatever away from your price. So, this is looking at using these moving averages. So, let's get in. Now, I'm not going to recreate the scenario here. We're going to have to, this is a live market. We're just going to have to go with what they have to offer us. So, I'm in the MNQ because it moves it a little faster. I'm on the one minute time frame. Now, these examples will work on any time frame that you trade on, whether it be one minute, one day, one week, four hour, one hour, whatever. It will work on any time frame. What's important, though, is that you know what time frame you're on that you're wanting to trade on because these are advanced orders. And you're going to have to tell the advanced order what time frame to do these executions on. So we have here, the MNQ is below the 8. Well, it just popped. It opened above the 8. What I want to do is if the MNQ opens above the 8, it's going to probably close below the 8 here. So what I want to do if it opens above the 8, I want to get in. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order. I'm going to wait for the next bar because it's already opened above the 8 here and it's going to execute right away and I don't want it to do that. So I may have to speed this video up to to uh, get the orders to show up so this video don't take too long. But let's wait for the next bar, see where the next bar opens. And then I will execute the order. All right, so it's open blow. So hopefully it doesn't move too fast for me. So I clicked on the ask price. And what I want to do is I want to come over here to this little gear icon. Click on it. Open up the advanced order. I want to buy one contract. I want to set it to market. Good for today. And I'm going to click underneath symbols. I'm going to throw my symbol in there. And in method, I want to go to study, edit. And I want to delete whatever's in there. And I'm going to add a condition. The condition is going to be of price open where's price open at there it is when price open 
is greater than this study. EXP, moving average exponential, 8 period. If it's greater than that, I want it to buy. So we're going to click OK. Oh, first, remember I said it's important to know what chart you're on. So we want to make sure we go to the one minute. Click OK. You can read the condition there to make sure it's correct. Save. Mark it. Confirm and send. And now it's going to sit there and wait until that price opens above the AEMA. And that won't happen. That, the earliest that can happen is the next bar. You notice it's moving around with that EMA. Now it's probably this next bar is probably going to open above. I'm guessing just by the way the price of action is going here. So hopefully we don't have to wait much more. And there it is. You notice it opened above and it executed my order. So now we're in. Now we need to take profit somewhere. So now we're in. There's our order. MNQ. We're in one contract. And this is it right here. One contract. Okay, so now we want to protect ourselves, right? We want to create a stop loss. We want to create a stop loss. Our stop loss is going to be if the price comes back and hits this 20 uh, exponential moving average, we want to get out. So we'll click on this. We're going to buy or we're going to sell. Excuse me. We're going to sell one contract. We'll come over and click the gear icon. We're going to sell at market. Good for today. Click here. Get our symbol method. Gonna be study, edit, and we're gonna get on the one minute again. We're gonna delete what's in there. We're gonna add a condition if price, and we're gonna say ask is uh, less than or equal to study exponential moving average, and we'll put it to twenty period. So if price comes down, touches that, we're going to get out. See, it says right here, if, if uh, it's less than or equal to the 20 moving average, if that is true, sell a contract. So it's following it around. It's not going to sell until... Uh, it meets the condition. I don't know how long it's going to take to meet that condition. But you notice we have a working order here. It says sell to close. And the wait condition, we click on the little gear icon and see what that wait condition is. Wait until the following condition is satisfied. If the ask price is less than or equal to the exponential moving average 20, if that is true, it's going to sell that contract at market. And there it is. That's how we can confirm everything. How long this is going to take, I don't know. It looks like it's just absolutely going the wrong way. So, <laughs> I mean, this make it a profit. It just That's what happens when you want it to do one thing, when you want it to go against you, and it just doesn't. So, let's see here. It's, it'll come back eventually. I may have to speed this video up so we can watch it, but we're going to sit here and let her go.
All right, the market changing a little bit. We're coming into our 20 moving average. Up, ah, didn't quite touch it. And there it goes. Order has been executed. And that's basically how you do it. So if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and you have a good day.